Hey guys, this is Brian aka Dr. Denim, and today I'm bringing you another What Sold video. I am a full-time reseller. I sell clothing and other items on eBay and some other platforms, and I make these videos to document my own journey and also to help you figure out which items you might want to pick up that can sell for good profits. Um, and these are the top 10 items that sold for yesterday, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right. At number 10, and by the way, we start at the, the lowest amount, and we're going to finish at the highest priced item that sold yesterday. So these items will get up, go up in value. So please make sure you stick around all the way to the end to see the best item. All right, and number 10, we have a pair of Polo Ralph Lauren jeans. Uh, these are men's 38 by 34. These sold for $20 and change plus shipping. I do charge shipping on almost all of my items. Um... Polo Ralph Lauren, men's jeans. Men's jeans are a good seller and one of the things I sell the most of. This one looks like we have a light, looks like a light wash on that. All right, next up, number nine, moving up. Now, the pricing may be a little bit off because I, on these sold listings, some, sometimes I will take an offer or send an offer and what they actually sold for may differ a little bit. So you got to keep that in mind. Um, next up, we have another pair of men's jeans. These are Banana Republic, and this is a, a bread and butter brand that I pick up. Uh, men's size 33 by 32, straight leg. These sold for, it's showing 17 and change, plus shipping. So there's two pair of men's jeans back to back. As you can see, men's jeans are one of my bread and butters. All right, moving up the list at number seven. Here we have a pearl snap shirt. Um, the brand is Shepler's, and the pearl snap refers to these, these buttons, these snap buttons that look like pearls. Uh, they're real pretty, and uh, pearl snap shirts are one of the things I'm always on the lookout for. Uh, this is a Shepler's Men's 1736, 17 being the next size. I probably should have put the, um, the, the, the size that would go with on a 50 inch chest. That's probably like a X, double XL, but anyway, a bright red color. Kind of makes sense this time of year. Uh, Halloween part, not Halloween. Hello, mine's on Halloween. Christmas, holidays, this shirt would look nice. All right, next up at number six, we have another pair of jeans. This time we have a pair of women's jeans. These are Big Star Women's size 26 L, which stands for long. Uh, legendary Maddie would be like the um, the style name on it. Uh, nice looking pair of jeans. These sold for 19 and change. And so what, uh, out of the first four on the list, three are jeans. Uh, you can see why I my channel's name is Dr. Denim. By the way, if you're finding this content useful in any way, you can support the channel by giving me a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing down below because we do these daily top tens every day or almost every day. And we also put out some other content to help you out. All right, halfway through the list at number five, we have a non-jean item up here. We have an Under Armour hoodie, men's size large fleece, now here's the interesting thing. Um, sometimes when you're sourcing, you will you will get things that have flaws, and you know ideally you you would prefer it not to have a flaw. This one actually has a flaw. The drawstring is missing. So what I do is I put an asterisk on the end of my title. Uh, this this tells me when somebody sends in an offer <clears throat> with that asterisk, it, it's a little quick note to myself that this item has a flaw. The flaw is also noted in the condition. The hoodie string is missing. Ooh, I left out the measurements on that. Shame, shame. But anyway, this sold for um, almost 20 bucks plus shipping. And most of my goods I'm sourcing, um, most of them are $4 or less. So, you know, I, I'm trying to build up to do a volume approach. I'm currently listing 28 items a day. I'm selling on average probably in the low 20s. And I'm trying to increase that listing habit a little bit each week all right next up ten nine eight seven six five Let's see i can't count this is actually number five we have a majestic um baseball training jacket kind of has the texas rangers colors red and blue got the quarter zip um cool base majestic this sold for 27 dollars 
plus shipping. All right, next up at number four, if I can count straight today, <laughs> we have a vintage Tricot Saint Raphael sweater, men's extra large, made in the USA, long sleeve polo style. Um, made in the USA, if you see a made in the USA tag on a piece of clothing, there's a good chance it's vintage. Most most clothing items are no longer made in the USA. They're overseas. Here's another another way you can tell um, this tag is like a paper tag. It's dry clean only. And the, the print pattern on this is really nice. Um, you know, this is kind of like a dad sweater. This would look good at a... Christmas party. It would look good anywhere. And we're in November, so so sweaters are definitely moving. All right. Next up on the list, um, at number three. And number three, we have another pair of Levi's. Dr. Denim selling the Levi's. A pair of Levi's 550, relaxed fit jeans, men's size 36 by 32. These are one of my better selling pair of Levi's 550s, 560s, and 501s also really well for me. Um, they sold for 20 and change plus shipping. All right, down to the top two or up to the top two. My second best sell of the day yesterday is a Rubin Brothers um, pair of pants, size 38 by 32. These are like flight deck cargo pants i came across the i remember I, I found these at the thrift and i wasn't wasn't really familiar with what they were they they looked different they stood out um that's where you want to take a little bit of time to research looked up the brand once again made in the usa union made and apparently these are like flight deck cargo pants so i picked them up um, for a couple bucks and these these sold for 32 and change plus shipping i think i had these for a few months um but that's okay all right next up we're to the number one sell of the day once again if you're finding this content helpful thumbs up subscribe below all that good stuff also in the comments let me know what's your best sell of the day um this was my best sell of the day it is november and i sold a a town london fog double-breasted trench coat colors brown men's size 44 regular it sold for 48 and change plus $14.99 shipping. This shipped in a 14 by 18 uh, poly bag. So made a little bit of money on the shipping as well. Um, the London Fog, when I pick these up, I will pick these up if they're, if they're really cheap. Um, they tend to take a while to sell. And um, like this one I probably had for a year, but you know we're into the colder months and it, it did sell. This one's pretty cool. It, ha it has the liner. Um, like this fleece liner, which is warm, double breasted, big heavy jacket, pretty cool. 44 regular on the side and, you know, picked this up for a few bucks and we sold for almost 50 bucks plus shipping. So that was my sell of the day. Um, just FYI, my model is more of bread and butter volume game. Like my average profit is probably about $12 per item. And I know for a lot of people, that's not enough. But I try to do a volume game where I get a lot of listings and leading to a lot of sales because I think the more items you sell, the more money you're going to make in the end. Uh, team Fast Nickel here. So that's it, guys. Um, once again, hope hopefully you, you found this helpful. Subscribe, like below, and good luck out there sourcing, and we'll see you on the next video.